Enthusiacs, it's me Khadija. So if you're new to my channel, then please hit that subscribe button, join the family, and if you're already subscribed, then welcome back. All right, you guys, so in today's video, I am going to be steaming my high porosity hair to try to help me get over this protein overload that my hair is experiencing currently. So I'm gonna go into the whole story on how I got protein overload and everything like that while I'm actually steaming my hair. I'm gonna be using my Q Redo, which I'm super excited for because this is not something that I pull out often just because I have my heating cap and it's really lightweight and convenient and so I just throw that on my head nine times out of 10. But I did a video on this a few years back. Let me just snap this in place. I did a video on this a few years back and I really, really like it. If you don't have your notifications on, make sure that you turn them on. My intro shows how to do that. I put out a message on my YouTube community tab post. So some of you guys may already know about this whole protein overload situation and a lot of you guys left me suggestions and thank you so much for that. One of those comments that I received was from Misty Blue. Thank you so much, Julie, for telling me to steam my hair because I wouldn't have actually thought about that <laughs> so i'm gonna be doing that in this video before we get into that i just want to share with you guys a fragrance from dossier dossier is definitely not new to my channel last month i shared a fragrance with you guys and also did a giveaway so that was a lot of fun but i really enjoy their fragrances because they specialize in creating high quality perfumes that are inspired by high-end fragrances but they're like a fraction of the price they're pretty much the affordable alternative so besides Dossier's fragrances being pretty affordable they range from about $29 to $50 which is actually really good when you compare them to high-end fragrances which usually cost hundreds of dollars they also have a risk-free system which means that you buy the fragrance and if you don't like it you can send it back get your money back and that's that so it's kind of like a way that you can test out some high quality fragrances or get a feel for what they may smell like but without spending so much money this month i chose woody frisa i hope i'm saying that right but this one oh my gosh so this is inspired by Armani's C and I'll put the price like so that you guys can see the comparison price wise. This one is a lot more affordable and it smells to me like money. <laughs> this makes me feel so bougie you guys because it just smells like a very high quality expensive smelling perfume. I love this. It smells so good. So I'm feeling a little bit better since I have, you know, showered and I put on my perfume and stuff. It just kind of makes me feel nice. So now we're going to work on this hair. I feel, uh, I don't even know how I feel, you guys. I just, I mean, I know how I got the protein overload, but I'm just like, did I really get this protein overload? All right, you guys. So I'm switching over to voiceover mode for the rest of the video. What's in my hair right now is the Alakay Naturals Honey and Sage DC. And I'm also going to be plugging in my Q-Redo so that we can get to steaming. my deep conditioner already just to save some time but as i'm seeing my hair i'm just going to tell you all the story behind me getting protein overload if you guys have been watching my videos for i guess for the last month then you may have seen my rapid wash day routine video in which i was using a new scalp oil a new deep conditioner infused with shibe and i was also using a leave-in conditioner that had algae so there was a little bit of protein in there as well I was following this routine for about three to four weeks, testing it out to make sure that it was something solid that I wanted to follow and also share with you guys. And I really liked it, but I did a protein treatment after I posted that video and my hair completely freaked out. I'm still really in shock that I even got protein overload because I have fine and high porosity hair, which means that my hair can take a lot of strengthening products and it will do really well with it actually so I'm not exactly sure 
what caused the protein overload i think maybe it was a combination of all the strengthening products i was using that kind of just you know took it over to the edge but i feel as though any routine that doesn't allow me to do a proper protein treatment is probably not a routine that i want to follow because protein treatments are just a staple in my regimen in my routine i do them once a month i need them or rather my hair needs them i'm not going to be following the routine anymore because i feel like with that routine i'm not going to be able to do a protein treatment which in the long run might actually be really bad for my hair to go months without doing a proper protein treatment so i'm gonna figure something else out you guys i was really excited to go on this rapid hair growth journey and grow my hair out a bit and quicker and see like the results but i just need to be safe you know I have to be cautious with my hair because it can get damaged so easily and i would just hate to follow a routine that's not suitable for my hair for months and then to find out it's not good for my hair and then the damage has already been done been there done that so i'm gonna try to formulate a better regimen for my hair and i'll come back later to share that with you guys once i have that down so it took me about 18 minutes to go through my hair i was really thorough with it my hair felt really soft really moisturized my curls were popping i forgot to mention that this dc does have silk amino acids i was trying to find a dc without protein but I need to restock because I ran out. My hair felt a lot more moisturized after applying the deep conditioner and also steaming. The steaming helped tremendously. And then even after I applied my styling products, which I focus on moisture-based products, of course, my hair feels pretty good. So I'm just gonna keep you guys updated. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.